Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Pops Reacts with BP1 and Get BP2. Off. Yeah, it's it. us again. <laughs> uh, welcome back, everybody. Indeed. To Brit Pops React. So we are back with Ren, My yep. Game Part 2. So we actually, in recording, we only just recorded Part 1, but you've already seen that one. So we're yep. immediately recording Part 2 afterwards. Why is that again? Let's just remind people who haven't seen our Part 1 reaction. Uh, because the lovely Tundil went over and bought us a coffee and requested uh, Money Game Part 1 and Part 2 from Ren. Had we known it was only two minutes fifty seconds long, we'd have probably left it on the end of the other one. But uh, hey, a couple of numpties. <laughs> exactly, yeah. And I always forget to turn that button off. Right, bunny game part two. Yep. Yeah. So left at the moment, hanging, didn't he? We're still a bit mind effed up here because we we've just watched bunny game part one. Not sure what the big reveal is or something's going to come along and smack us straight in the chops as Ren normally does. So without further ado. Money game part two. Ooh. Down at the beach. Probably Brighton Beach. Money is a game, and the ladder we climb will turn a saint into a sinner with his finger in crime. I'll break it down for you, motherfuckers, line by line. <laughs> this is business economics in the nursery rhyme. She sells seashells on the seashore, but the value of these shells will fall due to the laws of supply and demand. No one wants to buy shells because there's loads on the sand. Step one, you must create a sense of scarcity. These shells will sell much better if the people think they're rare, you see. Bear with me, take as many shells as you can find and hide them on an island stock, pile them high until they're rarer than a diamond. Step two, you've got to make the people think that they want them. Really want them, really fucking want them. Hit them like Bronson with influencers, product placement, featured primetime entertainment. If you haven't got a shell, you're just a fucking waste man free. It's Monopoly, invest inside some property. Start a corporation, make a logo, do it properly. Shells must sell, that will be your new philosophy. Swallow all your morals, they're a poor man's quality. Four, expand, expand, expand. Clear forests, make land, fresh blood on hand. Five, why just shells? Why limit yourself? She sells seashells, sell oil as well. Six guns, sell stocks, sell diamonds, sell rocks, sell water to a fish, sell the time to a clock. Seven, press on the gas, take your foot off the brakes, then run to be the president of the United States. Eight, big smile, mate, big wave, that's great. The truth is overrated, tell lies out the gate. Nine, polarize the people. Controversy is the game. It don't matter if they hate you, if they all say your name. Ten, the world is yours. Step out on the stage to a round of applause. You're a liar, a cheat, a devil, a whore. And you sell seashells on the seashore. Oh, rain, 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 rain. A storm, it comes our way. And those who rise through distorted lies are poison in the vase. But we like to point the blame, 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 blame. It's easier to blame to point the mirror at ourselves and we're all part of this old money game. This old money game. Very clever, isn't he? How does he? Oh, he's just. And I can't say anything against that because, you know, that's the world we live in. It is it? whatever the new shiny thing root, is. Root roll. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever the new shiny thing is, we all want it. We're all part of the money game, fear of missing out and all that. And um, yeah, just playing. We're, we're, we're all in it, aren't we? We're all playing it. We're all playing we it. Yes. And we don't like to be missed out and not have all those new shiny things. So uh, yeah, he's spot like on, follow, really. We do. We, as humans, we like to follow something. We like to. We're social followers, and we we look for that inspiration. We're looking for that new thing. We're looking for those people, you know, to be part of it, isn't it? You know, to, to be, be part, part of, of it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are part feel of it. Um, but again, very clever with the lyrics, you know, I mean, he took something very simple there, um, a nursery rhyme, sea cells, sea cells, not easy for me to say, uh, and, and, you know, but 
put a whole uh, massive meaning in in there with it. Just him walking down the sea line, uh, no music this time, but still made it very engaging, didn't he? So oh. very clever. Yeah, again, very again, clever chap. After watching the last one, you're expecting where's yeah. this going? Is it that story? But it's not, and it's almost like you said about the MF. Uh, it's explaining it to us what that meant. You know, yep. what, what you just watched was this is the meaning behind it to a degree to a degree you know or, or basically what you watched in part one is part two it's the same but just in a different context or in a different delivery easier so, to digest delivery isn't it i think on mm, that one yeah uh, okay mate so Short there we go money sweet. game uh part two um as i believe uh, there is a part three to follow at some stage so we will follow up with that but uh thank you very much again tundil for bringing ren to our attention she she was the one that insisted that we got on the ren um rabbit hole uh with the first one hi ren and we've moved on since then so if you do like ren check our playlist out there is one go back and see what else we've done from him but this one Again, bit of a mind melt. Mm, ever so, well, clever taking the nursery rhyme, I think. Yeah. Uh, there you go. You can always uh, buy us coffee.com for this book prop chat if you want us to do a reaction, uh, just like we did today. Um, mm. All right. What are you going to score this one then? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll think I'll stay consistent. I mean, it was, again, it was uh, um, all a bit of a mind mess with these two. So I'm a bit discombobulated. Nice word. I know I'd get to use it one day. Um, I'm going to come in. <laughs> I'm going to. I've been saving it. I'm going to come in again with a, it. Opened my eyes. It made me see it differently. It's not a massive um, stop and go, drop your mouth one. But I'll come in at about an eight point eight on this one. Yes, I will do eight point eight as well. That's exactly what I was going to go with. Not quite as impactful mm. as the first one, but at the same time very very good different he's clever he is he gets inside your little inside the little grey brain cell just the one and uh, messes with it he does indeed uh, I'm not sure what I feel for that Crikey. one this gene has me all gobsmacked this is delightful as a cucumber sandwich the garden party <laughs> nice one happy Cheers, days Phil. thanks for the insight delightful gonna have to find another over. sandwich uh Beautiful. I think we need to sack him, mate. Uh, there you go. <laughs> yes, good fun. Uh, <laughs> thanks for joining us today at Brit Pop Shack. Until tomorrow, it's a goodbye from me. Goodbye from him. And it's a goodbye from me. Hey. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs>